Hello, my friends. This is Chuck Minton. I am your instructor for exercise, excuse me, ANP for Exercise Lab. So there are a list of tasks that you need to have completed before our first day of class, which is on Tuesday, January uh, 19th. Now, these tasks will take you about two hours and six minutes to complete. I know that it is Friday. Uh, when I am making this video and uh, class is on Tuesday. I apologize for getting this out to you so late. I had in my mind that this class was on a Friday because AMP for Exercise Lab was on a Friday last semester. So that was stuck in my head until I finally realized that that was not the case. It's on Tuesday, the first day of class, actually, the first day of the semester. So I'm getting this out later than I had planned, and I, I apologize. Now, if you're not able to complete all these tasks by Tuesday, I don't want you stressed out about it. It'll be fine, right? In a perfect world, you will complete them by Tuesday. If you can't, it's not the end of the world. It'll be all right, okay? But if you can, um, you will be in the best possible shape you could be. And I just want to walk you through where to find these tasks on Blackboard and also where to find... Uh, uh, the uh, online classroom so you'll know how to get to the live session on uh, Tuesday, January 19th. So let's go over to the main menu. This is the main menu of Blackboard and uh, everything that you'll need to access in terms of um, that's not a quiz or an exam you'll find through the weekly modules dash start here. So if you click on that and this will be the first week, so it'll be the week one module, and I'll have a different uh, module for every week. So everything that you need for the first week will be in the week one module. You click on that. You'll always see a module document in blue as the first um, folder. And if you click there, it is, you'll have the details on everything that you have to do when it's done, uh, when it's due, an estimate on how long it will take um, in one place. So you can use this as a checklist just to check things off. Now, some people like to print things off. Like I'm old school. I like to print everything off. I don't like working on screen. Others are fine just looking at the screen, right, uh, to figure out what they want to do. So I provide this as, you know, an HTML and I also provide them as both a PDF and a, and a Word doc. So if you want to print this out, you can just click on the, the PDF or Word doc and then print it out. And I will always provide that to you. Now, if you go through here, it lists in detail everything that you have to do. Read the syllabus, order your lab manual, sign up for Quizlet, sign up for text message reminders, Flipgrid. Uh, and that shouldn't be there. That needs to be deleted. I'll delete that soon. Uh, <laughs> uh, and also you complete your first lab. So this lists everything, again, everything that you have to do tells you what uh, the points are for them, when it's due, and an estimate of how long it'll take you to do it. And that allows you to plan every week. Okay, so if you click on Preparing for Success in AMP for Exercise Lab, you'll find all the tasks that are associated with being successful in this course. So this doesn't cover um, the actual material, but this these include all of the things that you need to do to be successful in this class, right? In my mind, to this, that's why it's called Preparing for Success in AMP for Exercise Lab, like print out, uh, read your syllabus, open your syllabus, read it, write down any questions you have, bring them to class on Tuesday. Order your textbooks if you haven't done that. This is a link to, to the bookstore where you can order your textbooks. I use Quizlet uh, as a online learning lab. So if we were having class on, in person on campus, I'd take you down to the reserved learning lab we have where students can go in during the week and work with the models, the skeletons, the microscopes, etc., to learn human anatomy. Because we're completely online, I had to find a way 
that allowed you to study and practice and learn the material online and I'm using Quizlet for that so if you click on this uh, link here it'll take you to Quizlet uh, and you can sign up for my AMP for exercise Quizlet class now if you already have a Quizlet account then you're already familiar with Quizlet if you're not you'll need to establish a free account there's no need to pay for an account if you pay for an account you get some bells and whistles but they're not necessary uh, for you to access the resources that you need okay so establish that Quizlet account I'll give you two points of extra credit for doing that I also want to encourage you to sign up for text message reminders because this is an online lab everything is due at some point uh, online uh, and students find it valuable to receive text message reminders telling them that hey the quiz the online quiz closes at midnight or the online exam closes at midnight or the um, uh, uh, lab is due at such and such a time okay so I want to encourage you to sign up for text message reminders you can click on this link or you can open uh, this document here and it'll show you how to sign up for text message reminders it's a free service I mean other than you know whatever you pay for for receiving texts but other than that it's a free service students love it highly highly encourage you to sign up for text message reminders and as a, a carrot I will give you two points of extra credit if you do that next please introduce yourself if we were in class I'd have everyone go around the room and tell us your name and your major and career plans and something interesting that you did recently or plan to do um, since we are not uh, live I have to ask you to do that online and, and so if you would click on uh, record a response and then record yourself providing us your name your major your career plans and something interesting that you have done recently or that you plan to do in the near future I haven't done anything interesting myself uh, recently because of the pandemic and I've been so busy with kids and work uh, but I plan to do something this summer and I talk a little bit about that in my video okay so that's everything for preparing for success in a and p for exercise lab let's go to your actual first lab where you'll actually be learning stuff okay so first I want to call your attention to the study guide so for every lab I provide you with a study guide and where did that go did that oh it's coming up all right so your study guide lists everything that you're responsible for knowing if this could ever open ah there it is so your study guide lists everything that you have to know I tell students always stick to the study guide it doesn't matter what's in your lab manual the only thing that matters is what's on your study guide if it's on your study guide you have to know it if it's not on your study guide you don't have to know it so that's why it's called a study guide so for this particular lab the lab manual that you'll be receiving from the bookstore does not contain the information you need for this lab uh, it's a long story uh, on why that is but um, what I have provided to you is a chapter from a textbook and uh, the relevant chapters from another lab manual that cover the material in your uh, in your first lab here so so here are so so in the lab I will refer sometimes to the textbook sometimes to the lab manual these are the documents here that you could ref that you should refer to now let's get to your actual online lab because you'll have an online lab every week unless you're having uh, a lab exam each um, online lab is due at the beginning of the live session so this online lab is due um, at the beginning of our live session on Tuesday January 19th you need to complete it uh, by that time because at the beginning of class I mean when class starts we're going to start discussing the content of this lab I'm going to give you worksheets and learning activities to reinforce what you uh, what you learned in that lab and also that's the time where you should ask questions well you can't really ask questions if you haven't done the work so you'll want to make sure every week you've done the online lab before class 
starts. And each online lab is 10 points. The labs collectively are 13% of your grade. So if you click on the online lab, I'm going to go, right? It will consist of several pages. On each page, you will find the following. Each page, if I it'll click for me, covers different material. So this page covers surface features and body landmark terms. And in each page, you'll cover the material in three easy steps. Step one, you will read the relevant material in your lab manual or textbook, right? So it'll so first you read the material. Step two, I have a video here, and I'll always provide you the length of time so you can you know, figure out, you know, schedule appropriately. Um, I have a video here or screencast, online lecture, where I cover the material that you just read. Then you complete the learning activity that reinforces what you read and what I lectured on. Right? So it's three easy steps. First you read the material. Then I lecture on the material, and then you complete a learning activity that reinforces the material. Okay. On this first page, introduction, I basically cover that in a little more detail, but I go through that here. Okay. And so after you finish your lab, uh, finish that lab, right? You the lab is designed to introduce you to the material. You're not going to come out of that lab like knowing the material. Okay. That's what uh, our live session is for, and then I'll be directing you to the Quizlet and showing you how to qu use the Quizlet to learn and master the material. Okay? Okay, so before we go, I'm going to go back to the announcements page, and this is where you'll all, this is the landing page. This is the announcements page is where you'll always uh, uh, come into whenever you come into uh, Blackboard. Um, I just want to um, turn your attention to the online classroom. So how do you access um, our live sessions, right? Well, you just go here to online classroom and click that. And then put in your name, click join, and you're off and running. Okay, that's all I have. I, I so look forward to seeing everyone on Tuesday, January 19th. Thank you and have a great day.